All right, here is a quick one that you guys might not know that I've been doing for my Instagram, and it's just going file new, and we're going to create a carousel. Uh, carousel is where you get to see those photos that are split between two frames, and as you're scrolling through, they, they kind of match up. Um, so we're just going to set our pixels to 10,800 for width, 1,350 for height, and then click create. And then view, guides, new guide layout. I have mine set to 10 because that's the amount of photos you're allowed on Instagram. And they are even. I like to use the color light red. You can use whatever color you want. And then I go view, guides, and I lock the guides in place. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You got 10 photos there that you can use. So we're going to go into our photos. And we are going to build our carousel. So we're just going to grab whatever photo we think is cool to start with. Let's do... Oh, let's do a little photo set for Ashlyn. And we will grab one photo. Bam, drag it in there. Now on my page, I always start with one photo just like this, not split between multiple just fills it up it's a beautiful four by five frame so four by five for the first photo and then you can size up size down from there right so if we grab this photo we want it to fit two frames so we're just going to stretch it out slightly right there and then move her back up so that she is in frame oh i like that little bit of white underneath just like that so when this is in instagram we're going to split it to three photos. One, two, three. Three photos, right? And you're just going to do that by clicking over here on the slice tool and then slice from guides. And it's going to number them one, two, three. So now they're sliced and ready to go. You can actually see here that this photo is currently in the other photo. We're going to correct that before we do that. We're not going to slice yet because I want to make sure that that's not there. It's now behind this one. We're going to slide that down just so it's behind. And now the borders will be hidden and that lines up perfectly. So we're going to just keep on adding on to this one. We're going to add a third photo. This one is slightly smaller, but we're just going to stretch it out so it fits. And shoes, we don't want to cut off her head there. So we're going to go right there. I won't see I'm a bit too wide. Right there on the lines perfect just like that so then we'll grab that photo and then I want one more for this photo set I'm gonna choose this one this will be our last photo I think that's different from the first one right yeah this one that'll be our last photo which is just slightly no nope, that is a four by five as well so that'll fit perfectly right there and if we zoom in you can see it's on the line there. Not that it matters. If it's on this image, whatever, it doesn't matter. Click this button, slice from guides, file, export, save for web legacy, save. And then we're just going to go create a new folder. These are obviously all the names of each carousel that I've done. I'm going to label this one as Ash. Click save. And it saves them as sliced photos. So if you want to see that completed, then head on over to Instagram where you'll see that post going up there and uh, you'll kind of see how this one, this photo two and photo three, flow together. All right, that's it. Quick, easy, simple. That's how you make a carousel for Instagram.